Let's go to Jeff in Sarasota. Hi, Jeff. You're on. What would you like to say? Good morning. I know you don't like talking about conspiracy theories, but I want to uh, state up front. I am a conspiracy theorist, and I am not gullible, and I'm not undereducated. I was a Special Forces medic in the Army, which is the equivalent of a physician's assistant. Uh, I studied psychology at USF. I went to Ohio State. You know, I work hard. Uh, I, I, and, and let me also say, I do not like Trump. Trump, to me, because what I, I do a lot of research, he is a Trojan horse gift from the deep state that he so often criticizes. And, and if you want to just understand conspiracy theories, just a little, 30 seconds, go back to, uh, and start with the Kennedy assassination, watch JFK's film, uh, JFK. You know, the, least, the most recent polls I saw, it's close to 60% of Americans do not buy the lie that Lee Harvey Oswald acted alone. Now, fast forward to September 11, 1991. George Herbert Walker Bush gave a speech and announced the term New World Order. Now, it's no coincidence that he first announced that on September 11, 1991. Then 10 years later, we had September 11 with the collapse of the three towers, not just two. And, and you know, if you really want to know the truth about 9-11, this all ties together, uh, go to Architects and Engineers for 9-11 Truth. These are brilliant scientists from around the globe that all have concluded that 9-11 was an inside job, that it was, uh, it was a controlled demolition, charges were planted. Uh, Building 7 is proof the planes didn't strike that. So this isn't just kooky. But what happens is you get someone like Trump that comes in and he'll take, and Alex Jones is the same thing. They're disinformationalists. They take the truth and then they twist it. So, so Jeff, what you're, what you're pointing to, though, is a conspiracy that involves Alex Jones, 9-11, President Trump, um, JFK, and, and uh, everything else, you know, that you want to add a conspiracy well, to, let's say the hundred, hundred, well, well, hundred hitmen or whatever. So, and that's what I was going to get to. How many people uh, uh, would you say are employed in this uh, uh, deep state conspiracy? I mean, just to, to pull off, you know, all of those uh, and uh, have President uh, Bush give 10 years to the date uh, a speech that would signal uh, a major attack on the U.S. 10 years later. How, how many people do you think are employed to do this? There, there are um, many of them are employed, but there are others. How, how many people, though? But Jeff, how many people would it take? Now, this is the standard rebuttal that you get from people that want to... Well, maybe I'm part of the deep state then, okay. But I, I, I would venture to say, in order to pull all of that off and to make sure that everybody keeps their mouth closed, shut, I would say, you know, you're talking about, I mean, just to plant the, uh, the uh, plastic explosives or the explosives in the Twin Towers in the exact place where the planes hit, um, which is a pretty, you know, you're, they're pretty smart people. Um, it's going to take 10,000 people, I would say, to, to do this. And, you know, you've got to enforce it, too. So you've got to kill off everybody who's in the know. Um, there you go. No? There, you don't have to kill them off? The, have you heard of the term America, the mafia used? The, the code of silence. When I was in special forces, we had to not speak out against covert operations that we might have been involved in because of the term America. Okay. So special forces uses the mafia code to enforce silence. Yes. Okay. And because right. special forces and the CIA were involved in a lot of things that are illegal. All right. You know? Hey, Jeff, I'm going to move on, but thanks a lot. Thanks for calling in. I'm glad you called. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Good to hear from you. All right. What did you think about? But we have to remember, and this is a really, really important point, that the First Amendment is not absolute. The employers can put gag orders on you and tell you what you can say or not say out in public. Um, you're not allowed to go yell fire in a, in a theater to cause panic. So we can restrict the First Amendment, and we can restrict the Second Amendment. That's what we have to keep in mind. These are not absolute. All right, John, thanks a lot. Thanks for your views. Great to hear from you. All right.